Rare is not an excuse. Rare is not an excuse. Rare is not an excuse. There's 30 million Americans in the United States that suffer from a rare disease. So rare is already here. From the onset, they didn't know what was going on. They suspected maybe she had an infection. She was unable to eat. She wasn't able to swallow. Grace was a big puzzle, a huge puzzle, maybe the biggest puzzle of my career. She was developmentally delayed at the age of four or five months old. She wasn't able to roll over. Her head control wasn't good. Initial round of testing, we didn't have a clear answer. It was just more questions were raised. We have everything here from uh, routine blood labs to a EEG report to a fluoroscopic swallowing evaluation. We start, started to do more specialized genetic tests, some DNA analyses, things like that. That was really when sort of Pandora's box was opened. It was no longer an individual organ that was affected. It was something that was global within Grace's body. Rare is not an excuse. Rare is what I do. Rare makes me fight harder. Rare is real. We did have several people tell us that uh, we shouldn't get our hopes up. We may not ever find a diagnosis or the cause of Grace's uh, symptoms. If anything, that energized us. They really spearheaded putting the scientists and putting the team together. As a parent of, of a child with an ultra-rare disease, uh, you, you're really the, the first and the last line of defense. So if you're not going to be passionate about it, you're not going to be pushing it, you know, no one's going to be making that fight for you. I'm really impressed by how much they've actually learned about the scientific terminology and to understand what's going on and to realize, you know, these, this guy's good in that area and to put them together. In other uh, diseases like Alzheimer disease and Parkinson's disease, Many, many scientists have been working on. However, in many cases, they don't talk to each other. When we think about NGLY1, to come together with a team of people, and it really is a team that came together to, to make this real, and to find the first handful of cases is something that's unique. Rare is not an excuse. Rare unites us all. Rare is common. Bir hastalığın nadir olması çözülmemesi için bahane değildir. Rare is not an excuse. Rare is something else we fight for. One of the big breakthrough points for us was when we finally got a diagnosis and were able to connect with another family that had a child with the NGLY1 deficiency. NGLY1, it's there to get rid of junk that uh, has accumulated in cells. And when this enzyme is defective, you get accumulation of protein aggregates in cells. We are now trying to understand why the deficiency of this gene causes uh, many symptoms of grace. And now we are now trying to find new cures. If you have a patient who's rare, it has to fit some bucket in order for them to get services. So uh, you're oftentimes misclassified. Several of the children, particularly some of the new children who have been diagnosed with NGLY1, were for 10 years told that they had cerebral palsy. One report said Grace is a three-year-old girl who was made eligible for services due to her diagnosis of mental retardation. Rare is in my playbook. Rare is not an excuse, it's an opportunity. Rare is a matter of perspective. We are all unique. Rare is not an excuse. I think we still need to do a lot more basic research to find out how frequent this disease is. We just don't know. Maybe we just haven't been doing the right tests. Maybe there are also more mild forms, and it might be even more common than we suspect. It's an uphill battle having so few patients. Uh, you have to convince 
and both researchers and pharmaceutical companies that this is worth their time and effort. NGLI-1 happens to be a very critical part of the cell's metabolism, very critical. And it's going to be linked undoubtedly to a lot of more common disorders as we figure out exactly what it's doing. Rare is not an excuse. Rare is not an excuse. Rare only means the future has not yet been invented. Rare is not an excuse. Rare helps me understand the common. We face an uphill battle. Uh, this is not getting funding outside of private donations. Our greatest hope and mission for the foundation is that we will understand this disease and that we will cure it and that these children will lead an independent life. Rare is not an excuse. Rare is not an excuse. I think we will find a treatment for Anglai 1. We're supported by uh, a, a great family that's behind it and an excellent team of scientists that are working on it. It gives me a lot of hope that we'll be able to do something that will benefit these children. Rare does not define my daughter. Every day that we wait is, um, is, a, is a critical day in the development of these kids.